Hello, let's uh, continue with uh, day three of Firewatch. Find boards, watch window. All right. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Um. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Hello, turtle bro. What's up? Now this can't be that hard. Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, okay, have let's you go always had a boards. beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. The fuck I'm drawing really? you. I need to know. I just what? told you I'm married. Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely, cold hard stare. Mm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Is that enough? I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Have a 
having a nice afternoon? <laughs> well, I was. Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What happened to those girls, though? Was it the guy that, Henry, uh, the creepy guy Henry, that wake up. was looking over? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Mm, oh, it's I am. Shoot you. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure, it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain okay. in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our <coughs> tower? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> so, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Oh. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got 
got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Now we gotta... oh. It's right here. I think I'm two forks. Yep. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Should we name it? Uh, yep, yeah, the flapjack uh, fire. Maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is. What's that? Love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Here. Sure you are. I am. I don't know what that means. It doesn't matter. I get it. And with Julia and everything, you probably don't want to be here. I don't know if that's true. <sighs> Forget I said anything. I, I just meant I like that you're here. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things it's burning away you thirsty fuckers you're going fishing nope. without a license it's one fish and i'm sick of all the stuff i got to eat well i won't tell anyone you're a poacher <laughs> that reminds me i keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find there was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, 
how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Whoa, Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. Dude. That doesn't make any sense. Uh... I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know... Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. What happened, Henry? I hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh... Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. Oh, okay. Damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these... People were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Maybe here? <laughs> yep. 
Yep, I'm going the right way. Alright, there's a fence. Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River. Where is Ruby River? There it is. So we go all the way back. Okay. Follow. What the hell is going on? Who hit me? Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was you know, uh... I don't know. What? 
Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, this way. Now I gotta go uh, straight ahead. Bear tooth. Oh, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. All right, now I gotta go straight ahead. where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you 
something serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Oh, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> Straight ahead. some high ground to get across. Good plan. Whoa. Okay. Crazy. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll have to see what I can find. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Let's say anything of note. Um. All right. Yes. Oh, Doctor Benson was at Wapiti Station. His research site. Shite sounds like Irish shit. Okay. What? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very 
interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. Missing person, 31, Rich Michaels. Distinctive facial hair. John G. Lake. All right. next well I've got an axe so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site sounds good check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you there are bear traps out here in the scout shelters scouts are stalwart prey that's messed up <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos for the past 35 years, yeah. Okay, now I can get through the fence, so I gotta go back. How? Do I go back? Maybe from here? Oh! Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. But what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Man, I wanted to go to the fence. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Lila, for fuck's sake, oh, the answer your radio. The, the disc, Hello, huh? sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just 
wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Oh, like I see what you're Rockies, doing. I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. What you do there? I fucking see it. Second tree from the right? Is it Connor Wood? Or. Um. <laughs> Cottonwood Creek, alright. Yep. So much smoke. Going the right way. <sighs> no, I don't think I'm going the right way. Now, now I am fire break. All right. From here, I'm gonna go to the right, not the left where I went before. That's gotta be it. Oh, come on, how many times are you gonna brush this? Same button. Yeah, how about now? Ski.
I gotta go to the cache. 308 up there. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Dude! You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in a rush. People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. Get into that site. Call me when you find something. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that. Neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Delilah, you're lazy. Can I follow the creek after?
the hell? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or yeah, that, it could be someone trying like to get a radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Uh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? Right, okay, just a little bit over here. I gotta go down there. Do you remember? Yes. Bust of the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. All right. Let's see what <coughs> this is about. <sighs> oh! Ow! Examine. If you're trying to reach the Simmons, he's inside from August to October. comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower, and they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. doing something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off uh, who knows what else they're up to well, there's nobody here it's just tents and equipment and yeah that's it look everywhere maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on and then 
there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This place just it feels like there's bad shit afoot, you know? It's sterile. Dead. Hopefully we find some proof to back that up. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. So see what you can find and get out. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my our people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Yeah, you said that. Um, what else? Don't say hey, this desk seems to be God where all it. the monitoring is recorded. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah, like us. This thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Shit. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. What the okay. hell, Delilah? They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look... Maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, 
now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I think something's gonna happen. Yeah, they are the out of Whoa! Oh shit! Uh, Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what what do we the do? hell? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Alright, I'm gonna end part 3 here. Obviously it's not gonna go day to day anymore. So, see you in the next one.